guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is gonna be another tadpole update. I honestly don't know how many more of these we have left because they are getting their legs and they're getting so big. So I know that it's only a matter of time before most of them are gone. I do unfortunately have some sad news. I wanted to let you guys know that a lot has been going on with the tadpoles this week. I've been vlogging all of it, so don't worry. So I will have some clips in this video for you guys. But one of the main things that I wanted to discuss with you guys is that unfortunately we did lose a few tadpoles. I have been so stressed out, oh my goodness. I have been so stressed about the tadpoles because we did lose about 10 of them in one day. I don't know what happened, I have no idea. But of course, as soon as I saw a few of them starting to pass away, I decided to take action and luckily we have not lost any more after that one incident, that one day, where we did unfortunately lose about 10 of them. So a lot has happened over the past week with the tadpoles and I wanted to update you guys all on all of it right here in this video. So I'll start off by telling you guys that I did vlog some footage for you guys, don't worry, but I decided that I needed to start putting some blood worms in the water just to feed the frogs that were already forming. Because once tadpoles do turn into frogs, they do turn carnivore, so of course they're gonna be wanting bugs and meat and things like that. So I did go and buy some blood worms and I have all of the vlog footage of that for you guys. I'm just now leaving Petco. Sorry about the sun. It is extremely hot and sunny today, but I did get the frozen blood worms. This is what they look like. They're just little frozen cubes, which we will have to thaw. And then I'm just gonna put a few in there for the frogs that are already developing pretty fast so that they can eat. Obviously, I'm not gonna drop like a whole cube in there because it is a lot of blood worms. I've seen people thaw these online and there is a ton of them in each cube. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of the cube off and thaw it. I'll show you guys whenever we do that, but we do have to go home and feed the little frogs. So basically, I just take some of the algae discs and I just kind of toss them in there. And those are just the Wardley algae discs, which are good for tadpoles. And then we are gonna go on and melt one of these cubes of blood worms. We're not gonna use the entire cube, maybe just like a quarter of one or a half of one. We do have to keep these frozen, so we do kind of have to hurry, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So we're gonna basically just put a little bit of water in here. Okay, so that's an entire cube. The whole thing kind of fell apart. So we'll just go on and melt one and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then how we're gonna feed them. This has to go back into the freezer. I'm sorry, my neighbor is actually mowing right now, so my dogs are going insane. But basically, we're just gonna melt this up really well, stir around the worms. So you can either just dump it back in there or you can use one of these and you can feed them. Either way, basically just like this. I'm gonna do it this way so that I can kind of squirt little bits of it out everywhere. like so. So I did feed the tadpoles a few blood worms and I'm pretty sure they ate them. I haven't seen any of them floating around in there, but unfortunately I do have sad news. A couple of days after I fed the blood worms, I did lose about 10 tadpoles. Now all of the tadpoles that we lost didn't have legs, so I'm assuming because they were all very, very large, but they didn't have any growth as in legs, they may have been defective or deformed or something like that. I really don't know. That's obviously speculation. However, as soon as I saw that I started to lose tadpoles, I freaked out. I started stressing. Obviously I was like, oh my gosh, what is wrong? What is going on? I don't think it was the blood worms. I did call the local aquatic shop and he did reassure me that tadpoles can have blood worms. That's what they feed theirs at the store and that that was totally fine. But he said that it was possible it was a water quality issue. So of course I jumped into action. Patrick and I ran outside the day that we started seeing them pass away, kind of one at a time throughout a couple of hours. We did obviously go outside and we did a 50% water change in the tadpole pool. And I'm happy to say that since we did the water change, we haven't lost any more tadpoles. So I'm really grateful for that. 
we're just gonna basically do a big water change. So we're gonna take a bunch of this water out and then we're gonna fill up the buckets with water and then we're gonna prime it with some sea chem and then just put new clean water in there. He said that the bigger they get and like as they start developing their legs, then water quality does start mattering more than yep. when they're like little bitty tadpoles. The Sea Kim water conditioner. That's good. Okay. All right, we let the water sit. Now we're gonna dump it. This is a five gallon bucket. We took out about 50% of the water, as you can see from the line. So this is clean, dechlorinated water. Okay, so we just did a 50% water change. We added about 15 gallons of dechlorinated new water in here. I did call my local aquarium store and he told me that I could use the prime that I already had for my fish tank and that that would be fine and that a water change would do them really good. He did say prepare to lose a few more before this is all over, which I knew that would happen. I knew it was always gonna be possible that a few may die or pass away. But I'm still really sad. I hate for any of them to pass away and I just really hope that I don't lose any more but I'm definitely going to keep an eye on them. I check on them every day and I will continue to do more water changes if I feel that I need to. I'm going to keep taking care of them and watching them and of course updating you guys but so far they're doing really really well but I have lost a few of them. Thank goodness because I've been prepping for my fish tank setup which is going to happen probably next month after pet fest is over. I had a bottle of Seachem Prime on hand so I was able to prime over 15 gallons of water and then do a full 50% water change in the tadpole pool. This was the first time in a month that I've had to do a water change, but it was the only thing that I could think was possibly causing them to die very slowly throughout a day. And I didn't want to take any chances with it being a water quality issue, so we did do the water change, and I'm happy to say we haven't lost any more, and I'm really happy about that. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that some of the frogs are escaping. I know I told you guys that I would film a video taking all of the developed frogs or toads, depending on what species they were, and we would take and release them. But I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to film that video because they're escaping on their own. Yeah, I think some of them are escaping. I really do think that they're escaping because there was like five in here that had all their legs the other day. That's good. Yeah, I think they're climbing out and, you know, escaping in the night and stuff. That's one of the... film some of the fully formed frogs kind of climbing up the side of the pool for you guys and as you can see they have very sticky feet. I'm assuming there's some sort of a local tree frog that we may have here. I don't see tree frogs very often. I mostly only see toads in my yard but they are escaping the pool and I have no idea where they're going so it looks like I'm just gonna have a ton of tree frogs in my yard. I really don't know. They are so cute and they are so teeny tiny. I'm definitely glad that I didn't take them as tadpoles and release them somewhere because I do feel like they would have been at a disadvantage and probably not survived at all. Their chances would have definitely been limited had I done that. So I do think their best chance was in the pool. Thus far, I don't have any regrets about how everything's been going and how I've been caring for them. I do wish that I would have done a water change sooner, so I'm definitely going to be doing another water change probably next week. Maybe only 5 or 10 gallons worth since I did do the huge 15 gallon water change a few days ago. But that's the only thing that I can attribute losing 10 of them to. So far out of the hundreds of tadpoles that we have, I've only lost 10, so I'm really happy about that. It is sad, but I know that that's going to happen. They're not all going to survive. That's just, you know, the way that it is, sadly. But they are escaping on their own, so obviously with releasing them or anything, we're going to have to play it all by ear. I am doing the best I can while also giving them their space and kind of letting nature take its course, but just giving them a gentle assist with feeding because they are stuck in there, and I do think they need a little bit of help. But yeah, that's pretty much the update on the tadpoles. I will let you guys know if anything else changes. The next tadpole update will definitely be after this week weekend because of pet fest so I won't be filming a lot at home because I won't be in town but next week I will post another tadpole update for you guys and let you guys know how they've been doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe down below. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.